Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern. And um, I hope you're all keeping safe and well, and you're looking forward to another episode of me messing around on the railway. Now, I don't know if you can see in the far distance there, I have placed the Minchella's kiosk next to the main building of High Shield Station. And that is where it's staying now. And um, as you can see, the train spotters are queuing up for the ice creams that are available in the kiosk. But it's a bit dark in there. So that's what this episode is all about. To see if I can fit two LEDs to the kiosk. One inside and one inside of the ice cream cone that sits on the roof. Hopefully we can have that flashing by the end of this video. But we'll have to wait and see. Firstly, I've got to check to make sure I've got some terminal blocks underneath this uh, baseboard to make sure I can wire it up if I'm successful. So we shall have a, a quick look and, uh, and then we shall head over to the bench. And as you can see all the terminal blocks there are full of all the various lighting station buildings, townhouses, street lights and street lighting too. So we can't plug any more into there. But I have found a spare terminal block over here where we have more lamps so we've got a spare one here it's quite a way away from uh, where the kiosk is but it's empty and it's spare and it's free so let's head over to the bench so here we are we're back at the bench and um i'm just wondering how many times i've said that over the years oh, must be it forever on repeat mode here we are we're back at the bench anyway putting that aside um, we've done the easy bit we've moved this off the layout and <laughs> the hardest part I think is taking the ice cream off without damaging the roof itself and I don't particularly want to damage the cone so I'm just going to score it underneath the bracket here so I want to try and keep the bracket as well so I can put that back um, in its place so I'm just going to score it here as well on this side very very gently uh, again uh, a new blade so I'm just trying to cut through the glue I think it was super glue I used if I keep scoring enough very gently it may just come off quite easy by itself so I'm going to just come back to this side it's more like a, a weld I'm cutting through but uh, it'll be rock solid no doubt One more time this side. Hopefully that might be enough to actually snap it. No, it's, it's quite firm. Um, it's just very, very surprising. It doesn't want to come off. I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, I'll just have to make a, another ice cream. Oh, 
Oh, what, what magic. So it's just snapped. And uh, there's no damage to the roof, so luckily I might just be able to glue that back in place. So, we have our ice cream cone. Now, we need to find out the width of the um, nano bulb and see if we can drill a hole um, either through the cone here or up through the base. So, let's have a look. Right, so we have our LED and these are the um, four times flashing 0805s so they are quite small and um, the pre-wired but you get two sets of resistors with them so you can either have the 3 volt supply or the 12 volt supply um, 3 volts is the blue resistor and the brown resistor is the 12 volts so I'll be using the 12 volts because it's a 12 volt system that we have for our lighting so I've measured the width of the LED and I think I'm going to need a 2 millimeter hole to make sure I can get this to fit into the ice cream yeah if I do a two millimeter diameter that's plenty enough for me to push this all the way in to the cone now I'm thinking of going in at that angle so the idea is to try to get the LED into the ice cream area not necessarily the cone now because the bracket has stayed on that has given me the perfect angle to drill a hole through there and then into the ice cream so this is a, a one millimeter diameter drill so I'm just going to extend the drill out a little bit just to make sure I can get the depth that I want without going too far so I've extended the drill and I'm going to go in at that angle and then the cables can run down the bracket and then along the roof and then down the back of the building so I'm just going to give this a go so I'm going to go in at 90 degrees first to make sure I get the drill bit started so I shall see start off at 90 degrees to the ice cream and then we'll maneuver it in this position to get the correct angle so here we go 90 degrees first just to get the drill bit started Right, so I'm cutting through the hardened paper just to get it started. As you can see there, so if I leave that there, you can see what I mean. So there's the 90 degrees to the cone. That's just to get it started. And now I shall change the angle. And hopefully that should take me into the ice cream by a good as you can see what I mean there I've changed the angle so I'm following the bracket now Right, so I've gone in about three millimeters and I'm finding it quite tough. So this resin it is rock hard, as you can see. But I shall persevere. Straight away I've got a problem. The drill bit is now stuck 
in the cone so I'm going to have to get a pair of pliers and twist it without lifting it or lowering the drill bit otherwise it'll snap in there so I shall try that see what happens well I managed to get the drill bit out so I shall tighten it back up into the drill brace as it were and give it another go because I didn't go in far enough so I shall tighten it up a little bit harder this time and then give it another go so we've done the pilot hole so I'm just opening up the hole now with a 2mm drill bit so I'm just going to do it ever so gently and a very slow speed and hopefully we've gone in there deep enough to put the LED in so we'll just see how deep we've gone Right, so we've gone in about six millimeters so we must be really close to the edge of that ice cream so we shall see if the LED will fit inside that hole I've soldered the resistor to the black cable which is the live so I'm just going to give it a test now to make sure the LED is working before I can then permanently wire it up to the ice cream as you can see that's flashing away so that's good so what we'll do we should pop it in the ice cream and see if we can see it or we'll see the light coming through the ice cream so I'm just going to set this up so I've temporarily placed the LED inside of the ice cream cone so we should see if there's any light that comes through the ice cream oh look at that well that works a treat so all we've got to do now is glue the LED into the ice cream using a little bit more of that twin pack resin. Right so I've mixed up a little bit more of that um, twin pack resin just to fill the hole in so I might have to touch it up with a little bit of paint and uh, as you can see I have super glued the cables to the back of the bracket. Now I'm not too worried if I can still see the cables because in real life you probably would have seen cables going up to the um, ice cream anyway for lighting it so just need a tiny bit of resin to fill that hole. just sharpen the uh, toothpick so I can just put a tiny bit dollop in that hole there we go so we shall leave that to harden and then we can stick it back on top of the kiosk and as for the other LED, I've just drilled a 3mm hole um, into the base of the kiosk. So that will just pop up through the floor. Um, and the trailing cables coming down from the ice cream will meet up with uh, this LED. And then I'll only have to drill one hole into the baseboard. Um, so that is what I'll do for there and I think that should work that's the um, 
inside LED just temporarily hooked up at the moment as you can see it's, it's lit up and also I've tidied the cables up so it comes down the back and then meets up with the LED that goes through the floor so I'll only have to drill one hole um, so the next thing to do now is connect up the supply for the ice cream cone and then we should see what it looks like hopefully when it's on the layout. It's always worth doing a quick check before you put uh, your LEDs onto your supplies because um, I put the wrong resistor into the ice cream. Um, it should have been a 3 volt one, not a 6 volt one because uh, it just, just wasn't working. Right, so, as you can see, we've got the internal light working and the ice cream beacon is flashing. Uh, it's more on the cone than it is on the ice cream, looking at it from the camera, but I can assure you it is flashing here on the ice cream as well. So, um, there's only the touching up of the paint on the back to do, so I've got to do that. And then we can reconnect this onto the layout and uh, we're good to go. Um, it does look pretty bright in there on the camera, but when you look at it for real, it's not that bright. Um, I think the camera is is exaggerating the light inside of the kiosk. Anyway, so let's have a look when it's on the layout. And here we are, we're back where we started at High Shields Station with the kiosk back in place and both LEDs are working. And the orange one only flashes now and again. Just wait a second before we zoom in to show the extra detail that I've added to the ice cream kiosk. If we just zoom in there, there we go. As you can see on the counter, we have a tray of four different types of ice cream. As you can see, just a final detail that was added. Right, so. Let's have a quick overview. Um, it was a little bit tricky to drill a hole into the cone, but um, it did pay off and I am happy with the results. All right, it's not flashing all the time. It just seems to be intermediate flashing. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with the results. Um, so let's have a look at what it looks like in the dark. And as you can see, it's very illuminating. It stands out like sore thumb. But yeah, let's have a, a, a closer look. Now, the, the camera is not doing the lighting justice. I mean, um, it shows it up to be very, very bright inside. But when you look, at it in real life it's not as bright as that because you can barely see um, Tony the ice cream man so there you go right I think well, that is all from me and that's the end of the kiosk saga and uh, yeah you can't spot it miles away Thanks for watching now. Until next time, stay safe. Bye for now. Bye.